think of the other qualities you need to be a stunt rider? Obviously, you've got to be fit, you do a lot of training, uh, physical and bike training, and obviously you've got to have quite a bit of skill. Uh, it's just not something you can just get on a bike and do straight away. It takes a long time and a lot of hard work. What sort of physical training do you have to do? Uh, do lots of running, swimming, uh, press ups, sit ups. Not many weights, I only use small weights uh, for my arms, legs, and my back. Eddie says that before a show, he just sits down, relaxes, and psychs himself up. For someone as fit and experienced, it's the logical preparation. But how worried is Eddie that many of the youngsters who come to watch the show will go home and try to imitate their hero? Well, I'm obviously worried about that because uh, a lot of people have been getting hurt lately doing stunts. Uh, so I'm concerned in that, and I, try, I do try to put over in my program saying not to do the things on the public highway. If they want to do it, I can't tell them not to do it because uh, I started like that after seeing somebody. So what I can say is uh, if they want to do it, get somebody older than themselves and just start off small and build up. Don't go straight into the big stuff straight away. Eddie's own career isn't confined to the world of motorbikes. He's now also a singer and actor. Uh, well, I finished a film two years ago, well, 79, and it's just come out now. It's been all over London, and it's coming up over to Scotland and down to Wales, and it's going all around Great Britain. Then it'll be off to America. And also, I'm, I sing the theme song for the film. So I'm trying everything, really. But despite these successes, it's still from stunt riding that Eddie gets his greatest thrills. And though he is world record holder, he's still not satisfied. Well, I like to go for 15 double-deckers, and I'm, my ambition is to jump the Grand Canyon. Whether I do it or not is another thing, but that's my ambition. Eddie Kidd's Spectacular is a barnstorming motorbike show that takes him and a team of stunt riders to 24 towns in 30 days. The riders perform a variety of stunts on a range of bikes, with the occasional warning to spectators not to try the same tricks out on the road. The show's star is a Londoner who started stunt riding motorcycles as a child and established a world record 190 foot jump over 14 double decker buses when he was still in his teens. Eddie Kidd is a show business veteran in charge of his own travelling show at the age of 21 and he's driving hard to make his fortune. How do you keep it safe? Uh, what, you mean the stunts? Uh, well, obviously in the cars we've we make up special harnesses so the boys, ordinary seatbelts, not good enough for the crashes because they have to sling themselves down. So we make special harnesses up. And for the audience, really, we put all railings around apart from the seating area and we do all the stunts facing the opposite way because if anything did go wrong, we're going to go into the people. We try to do all the stunts facing the safety zone. Uh, and obviously, all the bikes are checked over every day. It's, it's pretty safe. You've managed to get through this somewhat exciting life so far without one broken bone. Do, do you ever worry about what could happen? What could uh, go wrong? I think if I really worried about it, I wouldn't be doing it. Uh, obviously, I do think, obviously, if the bike's not running right, the ramps are quite a problem, I'm no problems. But the ramps are put up, and I have to check them. And the bike mechanic, he does all the stuff, and I just have a look at it. And so far, I've not, not had any problems at all. What is your ambition in terms of this, this kind of sport? Uh, I still want to I hold the world record still for 190 feet over 14 double deckers. I like to try and go for one more, make it 15 double deckers, and try for about 220. And because I've held the record for four years and nobody's beaten me yet, so I try and do 220 and leave it for another four years if I could. It's not the Grand Canyon, but a jump over two vans placed end to end, a total distance of 64 feet. That's the show's nightly climax.
Right. <laughs> Eddie Kid, welcome to Northern Life. Stuntman extraordinaire and also world champion motorcycle jump. Jumper, aren't you? That's right. How many feet have you actually jumped? Uh, I've jumped 190 feet over 14 double decker buses. And um, how old are you now? Uh, 21. And you actually made a pledge that before your next birthday it's going to be even bigger, is that right? Well, I hope so. I'm going to try for uh, 220 or 210 feet uh, at the end of my tour in September. What goes through your mind when you actually take off? Uh, not a lot, really. I'm concentrating on uh, how the bike's going, whether it's coming back too much or going down at the front, so I can get ready to pull it back. Well, you've actually made a film. We're going to see a clip in just a moment. And you're using all your different stunts in there as well, aren't That's you? That's right. Lots of different stunts that I've never done before. Uh, and it's like lots of good stunts as well. Here's a clip of you entertaining your granny, I think. Right. <laughs> Your granny doesn't seem to be taken in by it all, does she? No, she's really great, iron handle. Uh, if I didn't have a mum, I'd have her for a mum, definitely. That's the only second time you've seen that yourself, isn't it, that film? Yeah, that's right. I went to see it today in uh, Newcastle. Eddie, I mean, when you've done so many of the stunts that you have done in the past, I mean, what is the ultimate one for you? I mean, you're talking uh, about jumping at more than 200 feet. Well, I like to go for the Grand Canyon uh, one day, but on a proper motorcycle, not like Knievel in a rocket. You called it a sky cycle, but it was a real rocket. I like to go for the Grand Canyon, which is half a mile wider than the Snake Canyon, what Knievel tried. And on a proper motorcycle, a really big, powerful one, and just take off a ramp. No way am I going to get to the other side, but just see how far I can go. And then when it's it starts coming dangerous. down, that's very right, when it starts coming down, I just pull a chute and hopefully land on the two feet. Now, you've offered to take even Cleveland along, and he's turned you down, hasn't he? Yeah, well, I challenged him when I was 16, and uh, he refused me a couple of times. And then he must have thought to himself, well, I can't have people talking about me like this. So he sent me a telegram saying, uh, give me a half a million dollars deposited in my bank and I'll think about it, <laughs> which is uh, no way. You didn't. <laughs> well, listen, we're going to go into the break in a moment. We're going to see another clip from the film, and this time it's a stunt, I think, of you actually taking on some fire. Right. right. Well, I'll leave you to have a go on my machine, if you like. It's a beautiful prize. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much.